I'll praise you, Most High. I'll praise you, Most High. Yeah. yeah, that sound good, y'all. Hello. Hello. What we doing? Hey, cook that up, Kylie. We still get to the money, got these haters in they fear. Little homie, little cheap. Most I told me, vengeance hit my enemies, my footstools. We ain't got no beef for real. Hope to see this how we live. Look here, homie, we still get to the money, got these haters in they fear. Little homie, little cheap. Most I told me, vengeance hit my enemies, my footstools. We ain't got no beef for real. Hope to see this how we live. Look here, homie, be still. They said you got the call, they trying to black. Ball you, play what they own, bro. You can't blackball a boss. Yeah. The whole world, they hate Israel. The way you hate your neighbor, might as well pull the trigger on you. You know, we get excited by the smoke. Every day we catch the flesh. Save my treasure stored in heaven, we gon' blow the rest. They disrespecting and we check. The bank that calls and kept it still. They asking others about my business, but I ain't got no instant miss. See, I still deal with ops direct. Cause your person don't mean you respect. Your outlet don't get no credit if the ox ain't hit it. Money answer all things and you got all these questions Playing Vic Look, I employ slavery, I give you broke to say it Yo, yo, them blues in the hood, Jews in the hood I caught them clues, now I'm good I broke it down, he understood my all to you Filled it through, you found a few, I'm good We what we sold, this here exclusive They like, hey, folk, look what you do We still get into the money, got these haters in they fear Look, homie, let them cheat Most I told me, vengeance hit my enemies, my foot Stoops. We ain't got no beef for real. Hope to see this how we live. Look at homie, be still. Get into the money, got these haters in they fear. Look homie, let them cheat. Most I told me, vengeance hit my enemies, my foot stoops. We ain't got no beef for real. Hope to see this how we live. Look at homie, be still. Most I told me, be still. Give a room to work. Know my movie work. If faith ain't good, don't put the work in. In the spirit, flexing that my day job. Get in the mode out my own, I don't know what they are Oh, I got the blueprint, and I'm too legit to quit Let it spark in the dark, be a light, got the lead Trying to map my movement, got my haters pondering The ops set the questionnaire, they wanna know if you still lit It hit different, you authentic, a lot of ops pretend We do it for the Lord, got my own motion, who are you to judge? Put most high first, none of us, take in the spirit, we locked in They'll come against your plot, you know Judas said, yeah we spit them scripts they barely now. Came on slave ships, then you not black. You know they tell you everything. Isaiah 30, 20, yeah, we bad. You see what happened when they tried to rear the train up off the chair. And false witness, hypocrite. We throw shots back, now they feel heat. Must go get it. We still get into the money. Got the haters in they fear. Look, homie, let them cheat. Most I told me, vengeance hit my enemies, my foot stools. We ain't got no beef for real. Hope to see this how we live. Look here, homie, we still get into the money. Money got the haters in they fear. Look, homie, let them cheat. Most I tell me, vengeance hit my enemies, my foot stools. We ain't got no beef for real. Hope to see this how we live. Look here, homie, be still. to the children of the house of prayer and speak of none other than our very own precious sweet 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 daddy Madison
What if I told you that there was a religious group sprinkled throughout the hoods of black America that wasn't your average church? What if I told you that their leaders were referred to as Sweet Daddy and their churches have small marching bands? What if I told you that church met all the modern day criteria for a cult and that they still thrive today? Would you believe me? Perhaps you live in Virginia, North Carolina or South Carolina, three of their heaviest populated states. Then you might have seen their ominous gaudy buildings with white line statues at their entrance waiting to come to life as soon as God's trumpet sounds. Maybe you or a friend or a friend of a friend buy soul food plates from their restaurants. Maybe you're familiar with the UHOP, but do you know the real United House of Prayer for All People? The United House of Prayer for All People of the Church on the Rock of the Apostolic Faith, a Christian-based faction that was born 10 years before the Nation of Islam. Both traditions teaching the doctrines of sanctification, believing that conversion brings congregation members closer to their savior and assures them of their salvation. According to the church's website, the UHOP was founded in 1919 by Marcelino Manuel de Grasa, better known to his parishioners as Sweet Daddy Grace in Ware, Massachusetts. Grace, a cloud-chasing Cape Verdean immigrant who grew his church its first few decades by traveling the country, pimping, preaching, and pushing P, establishing the UHOP across the nation. As mentioned before, this Grace was a flamboyant cat. Not only did he have long hair, he rocked extremely long painted fingernails, bright colored suits, and icy jewels. He also traveled with bodyguards, lawyers, chauffeurs, and assistants. I'd said the tides and offerings were going to more than just the building fund. Legend has it, good old sweet daddy Grace would baptize entire city blocks with fire hoses and charge $1 per head. Sweet Daddy Grace led the UHOP for more than 41 years until his death in 1960. The death of old Daddy Grace caused a power vacuum in the church, and after court fights and two internal votes, a new bishop emerged, Charles McCullough. And like his predecessor, he took on the moniker of Daddy, or Sweet Daddy, if you will. It was during his reign that the UHOP started to make power moves through a nationwide rebuilding program. He built low-income, affordable housing and utilized his own construction teams. Guess what? It was financed solely by the members. Under Daddy McCullough, they built daycare centers and senior centers and bought fleets of buses and property for future usage. The UHOP completely bossed up at their members' expense. For 31 years, Daddy McCullough ran the UHOP until his death in 1991. And guess what? There was another power struggle. But this time it was between Charles McCullough, a son of the late Bishop McCullough and Samuel Christian Madison, the senior minister of God's White House, struggling for control of the church. But on May 24th, 1991, the Sweet Daddy Madison was born. Under his administration, over 123 houses of prayers received major renovations or were constructed. Added to their portfolio were numerous apartments, more senior citizen dwellings, parsonages, houses, and commercial properties. His reign lasted until his death in 2008. Since then, Bishop C.M., also Sweet Daddy, Bailey, a native of Newport News, Virginia, and the former pastor of the UHOP in Augusta, Georgia, emerged after having won 91% of their electoral votes by the General Assembly. As a result of disappointment, he became the sole trustee of the United House of Prayer and the company's, I mean, the church's first CEO. Here's what's interesting. On the surface, the UHOP's creed establishes its basic principles as believing in Jesus Christ and his death on the cross so that humanity could have life. Water baptism and the repentance of sin, that to be saved, one must be born again of the Holy Spirit and that one leader is the divine ruler of the kingdom of God. But many people believe that this is only a farce that they also think the members of the UHOP feel that the spirit of Jesus Christ, or maybe even God himself, lives on through their founders. Proclaiming in 1949, salvation is grace and grace only. Grace is giving God a vacation. And since he's on vacation, you don't need to worry about him. If you sin against God, grace can save you. But if you sin against grace, God cannot save you. Hmm. You see, they pray to grace instead of Jesus. In a 2007 WordPress article, the author states, 
the apostle opened the house up with a word of prayer. He began to pray like any regular Christian starts out their prayer. Then he flipped the script. He started talking about Daddy Grace and how Jesus prayed for another comforter, and that comforter was the leader, Daddy Grace, now the successor, Daddy Madison. We thank you, O oh Lord, for your servant, Daddy Madison. He is doing your work, Lord, and we love you for sending him to us. Thank you, Jesus, for Daddy. If it was not for Daddy, where would we be? The preacher ended the prayer, and I quote like this, all in the name of Jesus through Daddy Grace. Then the congregation gave praise to God, but the preacher told everyone to stand up and praise God for Daddy Madison. The band started playing as loud as they could, shaking the brand new stained glass windows. Everyone started to shout. I saw someone spitting up, speaking in tongues, running to the front, dancing before Daddy. Ushers were attempting to control the crowd, but everyone just kept on praising Daddy. Some people quickened, screamed out blessings to Daddy, and well, this went on until the band stopped. Another article goes on to state, after attending more meetings, I discovered at least one belief that prevented me from full conversion. I was taken aback when I discovered the sweet daddy of their songs actually referred to the church's leader, Bishop C.M. Bailey. The songs that I assumed were dedicated to God the Father as many Roman Catholic masses had ingrained in me were actually prayers to some man preaching in the South. Apparently, they changed all their songs to replace the word Jesus with daddy. And growing up in the church, this is a huge no-no. Praying or worshiping anything or any other being than Jesus or God himself, you might as well try on those gasoline draws that you're sure to be wearing when you're on your way to hell. Nowadays, the church seems to be moving pretty low key, other than the fact that the state of North Carolina put them on the super spreaders list after 200 people contracted COVID after refusing to cancel a mass. Honestly, I am confused by the group. I grew up in Charlotte as a kid, and there were quite a few there. One of them was directly across the street from my primary school. The way the building looked just gave me all the wrong vibes. I would see what seemed like normal people come in and out in their marching bands or practice in the parking lot sometimes, but it all just seemed really flashy. All their members drove the latest Cadillacs and wore gold jewelry. I even had a childhood best friend that was a member he would mention Daddy Grace every now and again, but the house decor was reminiscent of the house of prayer. White furniture, golden accents with big glass cases, golden figurines, and white figurines of lions and Jesus. But I'm curious to know your thoughts. Is the house of prayer for all people a cult or are they just misunderstood Christians? I want you to tell me your thoughts in the comment section.